And just like that, I am home again, far from the big city and back to the place that always nourished my soul and sparked my imagination with the beauty of nature, magic, fairy tales and possibilities. As a young child, my family moved a number of times before we finally found our home in a small place surrounded by the beautiful Welsh countryside. And although I left home at 16 to pursue my ballet career in the big city, this place has and always will be home for me. And each and every time I return, I feel the little girl inside of me smiling with a quiet and peaceful happiness longing to return to the place that inspired me for life. The past couple of months have been a very busy time indeed, and the days had seemed to run away in a flurry of responsibilities and work and both my body and my heart were longing for a change, to breathe fresh air, to feel the wind on my face, and to return to nature, even if only for a little while. This land has enchanted my soul, and every season upon coming here, it holds a very different kind of magic. In spring, the bluebells nod their heads, wild garlic fills the air, and the fairies dance with joy as the dark days give way to the light and the rays of warm sunshine leap through the tree branches. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful here. I have come home for a couple of days to just see my family and to just escape the big city for a little while and just be in some nature. And it is something I constantly crave while living in London, is just to be able to come out into some real wild nature like I am here um, and just connect. And so I have come out into a beautiful woodland area here in North Wales and it is just so wonderful. <laughs> and we've been blessed also with a lovely um, sunny day and it is just so beautiful here. And everything is so fresh and green and full of wild garlic. There is wild garlic growing everywhere all over these meadows and hills and it is just magnificent. It is so fragrant and fresh and the smell is just so amazing. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to picking a little bit and taking some with me to create some nice recipe with. Um, because wild garlic you can use in anything from soups or make a pesto with it which is absolutely delicious and so many other things you can do um, with wild garlic and right now it's growing everywhere in any kind of uh, natural wild area so if you can get out into some nature and some natural area I highly recommend <laughs> to forage some wild garlic it is really really wonderful and so delicious um, but apart from that I am just really enjoying the fresh air and just to be able to sit quietly and be by myself and just really connect with nature in the way that I really love to do and it's not very often that I can um, leave London and experience uh, nature like this properly in the wild. So whenever I, whenever I can, I really try to leave London for a couple of days and just be able to experience this. Um, 
and just connect in the way that I really love um, and just ex experience all the plants that are growing right now and they're, that are abundant and there's so many um, and there's just so much beauty. <sighs> it's just really, really special. Um, it's really special for me because I don't get to do this very often. And so I think I'm just going to sit here for a little while and just breathe. And then I'm going to pick some wild garlic and take home with me. So I'll see you in a bit. For a long while now, I have been dreaming of crafting with some of the beauty that springtime brings. And today I'm making magnolia syrup, a favorite springtime treat that to me tastes just like something made by the fairy folk. These past couple of months have been filled with a lot of work at my ballet school and prioritizing all my students. It feels like only yesterday that January and the new year had begun, and yet we are already halfway through spring. The time has gone so quickly. And now that I am finally able to take a little breath from it all and have some time to reflect, I realize that I deeply want to find more time for myself and to allow myself to be happy. Maybe it's that I'm getting older, but I have felt that there were little changes my heart was telling me to make for a very long while. Changes to allow myself a little more time, to do more of what I love, and to learn to let go. 
And maybe it's that in the past I did not feel courageous enough to do so. But just like the bluebells and the blossoms that flourish with the rain and sun, I believe that we also sometimes need little changes, time and care to flourish into better versions of ourselves. And so this spring, I'm deciding not to wait for happiness and better days, but rather to begin the journey of creating those moments for myself. And I deeply look forward to this new venture. This new venture is still to come, but for now, I am relishing the days spent at my family home and crafting with the wilds, something that brings me so much joy and peace, and finally, I feel at one with myself and the earth around me.